Hi again, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. Hey, let's add a YouTube video to our web page. It's so easy to do with the YouTube tool. Let me show you how. I'm going to go over here to the toolbox and grab the YouTube tool by clicking on it and just draw a box. Now I'm just going to draw a box approximately the size I want my video. Um, I'm actually going to want it to be a very precise size, but for now I'm just drawing this box like this. To make this more precise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Properties Inspector palette. I'm going to move the camera down here so you can see that. Down here in the Properties Inspector, since I'm working with this YouTube object, I'm actually going to change the size right here because I want it to be precisely 640 by 320. And when I do that, you'll see, I'm going to hit Enter here in a minute, but I'm going to move the camera so you can see. When I hit Enter, you'll see that the video actually adjusts to that size that I want. So now my video is just the right size, 640 by 320. That's the way I want it. Okay, so now that I've got the video the size that I want, I'm going to double click on it and decide uh, which video to play here. And all I need is the YouTube address for this video. So let's go get that. I'm going to switch over to the YouTube page I want to go to, which is right here. This is the video that I want to put on my page. I'm at YouTube's website. Let me bring the camera up here so you can see where we're at here. And this is the address to the YouTube page that has this video that I want. There's a couple of things you can do. One, you can just grab this address and take it back to 90 Second Website Builder. If you do, however, you're going to need to edit it, or if you want to get technical, truncate it a little bit. You're going to need to take the URL from this point back. In other words, you don't want this and feature equals u2.b. That won't help us. You just want to have this address from youtube.com forward slash watch a question mark v equals and then this is the actual video ID number. We can do it that way and copy and paste that or we can go down to the spot where YouTube allows you to share a video and it will give us this address. We can also use this one and it already comes selected. So I'm just going to copy this address right out of the YouTube share box and close the YouTube page and go back to where I was working. And I'm going to paste that in here. So I'm telling 90 Second Website Builder to play this video. Now before I say OK, I'm going to choose a couple of things here. I don't want it to loop, so I won't click that. I do want it to play in high quality mode. I do want to enable full screen button in case the user wants to make the video bigger. They can do that. I'm also going to use modest branding so that the logo doesn't show. I'm also going to hide the player controls after the video starts playing. I think the video looks better. Um, when those go away. I don't want it to auto start, so I'm going to turn that off. I want the user to actually click the button to start the video. And I also don't want to show related videos. I don't like when those come up at the end because it distracts people. I don't want them to leave my website. I don't want them to just watch this video. And showing info is fine and showing controls is good. So I've made my decision on how I want the video to look when it plays. I click OK and I'm done. So if you think about it, all we did was we drew a box, got it the size we wanted, pasted in the YouTube URL, and then made some decisions about how we want the video to play, and we're absolutely done. I'm actually going to press F5 so we can preview this, and you can see how this looks. What happens is, if we press play, to begin using 90 Second Website Builder, the video to starts to play on my website. website. Okay? The download Simple link. enough. But there's more to it. We can actually do a few more things. So I'm going to close this, preview, so we can go back and show you a couple of other things you can actually do with the YouTube tool. You'll notice that we have some other settings. This one is called a light box tab. When we click on the light box, this is another way we could display the video if we want to. And the way this works is instead of having our users click on the video to make a play, we could actually have them click on some kind of an image and have the video appear in a light box, which is kind of a cool effect on the web page. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to check this box to display my video in a light box. Then I have to find an image that I want to use for the user to click on. So I'm going to go find some kind of an image. Let's find something that uh, would look good with a video. Here's a good video image. I'm going to click Open and use this image. And I can click OK. Now, here's the image. And I'm going to shrink it down because that's pretty big. I want it to be, let's say, just for this demonstration, let's make it a small image like this. Now, what will happen with this effect is when the user clicks on this image, a light box will open and play the video. Well, what's a light box? Well, I'll show you. We're going to click F5 and watch what happens now. Now, what happens is the user clicks on this image and the video pops up in a light box. In other words, this window opens up in the foreground 
along with the title and the background of the web page kind of gets a little out of focus to give that sort of three-dimensional look. Now the user can press play to begin using 90 second web and they could watch the video. Now I could make that auto play or loop or change all those settings, but you get the idea. So that's kind of a cool effect. A light box is nice because the user can close it here with the close box and then go back to the web page. Let me show you one other thing. And this is really kind of special. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm actually going to open up a blank page to show you this effect. I'm going to go over here to the uh, site manager and say new page. Now I've created a new blank page in 90 second website builder to show you this demonstration. This is new for version 10 and it's really powerful. It's a whole new trick you can do with YouTube. Basically, I'm just going to draw a YouTube video box out here. I'm going to go ahead and paste in that address. So we'll just use that same video we were working with. There it is. And again, I could change all these settings if I want to play in high quality mode, etc., etc., etc. But but here's what I want to show you. Now you have a new feature under layout called fill entire browser window. What does that mean? Well, that means this video is actually going to fill the entire page in the background. I'll show you what I mean. I'll click OK. It doesn't matter how big this box is now because it's going to fill the whole page anyway. When I click F5, watch the browser window. To begin using You'll see it's the entire window. The video fills the entire window and it responds to the size of the browser, you'll notice. So as I change the browser size, that video is playing and it fills the entire screen because it's in the background of that page. Let me stop that so you can hear me. So what's happened here is the video is actually a background video, which is really kind of a cool effect. Of course, you wouldn't want to use the kind of video I'm using here, something that would be more appropriate. But the point is, you can put a video and have it play in the background. And in fact, you can put objects on top of this video. So if you put objects on the page, let me minimize this. If we put objects out here on the page, they will actually be on top of the video while it plays in the background. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's just grab an image just for the sake of demonstration. Any kind of an image here. Here's a nice Twitter bird. So let's just put this out here. And if I click F5, you'll see that the video still plays in the background. I'm going to stop it. But this image, because it's in the foreground, stays here. So what does that mean? That means you could make a video background and in the foreground say have your opt-in form for your subscriber form or have some kind of an image that uh, is more appropriate to what's happening to the background of the video or some text that explains what people are looking at. But now that you're able to use the YouTube tool to make a background, you can now have a full screen background video image with 90 Second Website Builder. But either way, whether you make a background video or you use it the conventional way like I did here, you can see that placing a video on your website is really, really easy with 90 Second Website Builder.